Hello everyone. Welcome to Amazabti webcast. In this video guide, we will see the steps to install and configure Microsoft Deployment Toolkit on Windows Server 2019. So what is Microsoft Deployment Toolkit? MDT is a powerful tool to manage Windows deployment. We can use it to create reference images or as a complete deployment solution. MDT also can be used to extend the operating system deployment feature available in Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager. According to Microsoft, MDT provides a unified collection of tools, processes and guidance for automating desktop and server deployments. For this video demonstration, we are using TestLab created in VirtualBox. And this is our virtual machine with the host name WS2K19-DC01. We have a single domain Active Directory Forest named mylab.local and this is our domain controller. On this server, we have also installed and configured DSCP server rule and WDF server rule. Let's verify that. Let's open DHCP management console and here you can see we have a scope because later on we need DHCP server for network deployment. And as you can see, already we have configured WDS service as well. Fine. For the testing purpose, we are installing MDT on our domain controller. But from domain controller performance point of view, we need to deploy it on other server. So if you can afford a separate server, it will be the best. Before we can install MDT, first we need to install Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit, also known as ADK. In the last video, we have seen the steps to download Windows ADK and Windows PE add-on set of files so we can deploy it on other PC without internet connectivity. Already I have copied those set of files to our server. We'll be using those offline installer to install Windows ADK and Windows PE add-ons on this server. Let's open my computer and on a D drive, already I have copied that folder. So if you haven't seen that video, how to download ADK for offline installation, you can refer that video first. I'll give you the link of that video demonstration in the description area. Now here, first we need to install ADK setup. Let's select ADK setup file and let's double click on it. It will start a new wizard. We are going to install Windows ADK on this computer. That's why the first box is selected and this, is, this will be the installation path. If you want to change the installation path, you can change it as per your requirement. Let's click on next. I'm going to select no and click on next. Click on accept. And here, I'm going to remove other checkboxes because we only need deployment tools and user state migration tools. Fine. Let's click on install to start the installation process. Okay, then installation has been completed successfully. Let's click on close to close this console. Now, we need to install ADK WinPE add-ons. Let's double click on that setup. Here again, we need to select install Windows ADK on this computer. Let's click on next. Next again, click on accept. And here we need to click on install to start the installation process. Okay, as you can see, Windows ADK pre-installation environment add-on has been successfully installed on our server. Let's click on close to close this. Fine. After installing Windows ADK and Windows PE add-on setup, now we can start installation of MDT setup file. Let's click on D drive. And already I have downloaded the setup. You can download the MDT setup file from Microsoft official website. I'll provide the link to download MDT setup in the description area. Let's double click on the setup file. Click on next. Select I accept the terms in the license agreement and click on next. Click on next again, next again and click on install. Fine, installation has been completed successfully. Click on finish and now I am going to close this console as well. Now that we have MDT installed on our server, in order to make it work, we have to create a deployment share. This is a share folder where all the boot and install images are stored. The automation scripts, rules and everything is going to store under that share folder. 
So let's click on start button. Let's click on uh, Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. And here we need to click on Deployment Workbench. Fine, let's click and expand Deployment Shares. If you have any existing deployment shares created on your server, that time you are able to see it here. But as you can see, in our case, it is empty. So let's create a new share. To do that, we need to right click here and select new deployment share. It will start a new wizard. Then the first console, it is asking us to specify the location. Here I'm going to specify D colon slash deployment share. This will be the location. Let's again open file explorer. And on a D drive here, we don't have any folder with that name. Fine. Okay, so let's click on next. This will be the share name and here you can verify the dollar symbol is there at the end of the share name. That means this will be a hidden share. Let's click on next. Here you can specify the description for your share folder so you can easily identify it. I'm going to clear all the checkboxes and click on next. Click on next again. Okay, as you can see, the process has been completed successfully. Now let's click on finish to close this wizard. Fine, let's expand deployment shares. And here we have a MDT deployment share on this location. If we expand it, under we have options for applications, operating system, out of box drivers, packages, task sequence, etc. Let me show you on a D drive as well. Let's go to D drive. Here we have our share folder. Let's right click on it. Select properties and let's verify the sharing permission. Let's click on advanced sharing. Click on permission. Administrator has full control. Fine. Let's check the security. Fine. Only system and administrator has a permission. All others entries has been removed from this security list. Fine. Let's click on close. Let's double click on that folder. And here we have a lots of subfolders under deployment shares which are required by Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. And now we can see our first MDT deployment share has been created successfully. Of course, we can't do anything with it right now because it's totally empty. But the next step will be to add at least one operating system, add applications, patches, drivers if needed and create a task sequence to deploy your operating system. And that we are going to see in the next video. So this is the way how we can install and configure Microsoft Deployment Toolkit in Windows Server 2019. That's it for this video guide. Thank you all for watching this video.